Hello, this is Timothy Bishop, September 19th, 2018, and I'm here to make a tape about the Water Temple, so here we go. The Water Temple is a dungeon in Zelda Ocarina of Time that I played when the game first came out in 99, 98 rather. I got the game after moving to Wisconsin and going to the mall. Oh, hello, music. Somehow I don't remember having this music back then, though. Um, also, apparently I have Kokiri Sword, too, now. Yeah, I dig the, the, this. is pretty good music for the Water Temple. I like it. Alright, so let's not do the stupid thing here. And, um... Oh... You know what I think? I'm gonna go ahead and get this while I can. Because it's just too much of a pain in the ass to get it any other time. Besides now, it's... What, uh, I can't see what I'm doing. Dude, seriously, can you swim in a straight line? Holy crap, are you drunk? My god, man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, uh, well, dive. Can I dive? No, I can't dive. Because you're not at the surface. You can't dive if you're not at the surface. Oh, there they are. There's my bitches. Is there even going to be, like, anything? Like, a floor here? Or is this entire room going to be flooded? Oh, okay. Okay, alright, now, let's see what we got here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't even know where this music originally plays. Like, so many songs in this game kind of just overlap each other. Or blend in with each other in my memory. It's really kind of weird, man. Alright, uh, now get back to the surface so we can just dive. So we don't have to be stupid here. Alright, so the compass has been gotten. Just swim right under the spikes and make this all a lot easier now, huh? Wait a minute, where- oh god, the camera. I don't think it realizes that I've left the room. So I tried to go to the left there, it wouldn't let me. Of course, that could have just been the controller again, I don't know. Usually doesn't have a problem with lefts, though, it's the right that seems to be messing it up. I don't know, man. We also have to remember that, well, we have to get the Skultalas in here as well. Not just the other stuff. Bloop. Also, don't forget to get the key at the bottom of this room. I don't know why it is that every time I do this temple, I forget to light the torches at the bottom of the room and I just walk out. Also, I didn't see my wife. Where was my wife? Where's my wife that I earned? I earned a wife. Alright, uh, well, at least we can... Oops. I mean, at least we can, like, shield these guys now, and then... And then scream in terror. Boy, look at all these bombs. We could use them, too, though. <laughs> Boy, have you ever seen four bomb drops on the floor at one time? Well, you're gonna see it here. Here, here, here. Future self. Thumbnail, thumbnail, thumbnail. Oh, dang it. Okay, get him. At least that filled us up. We still haven't seen any bomb bags yet. Uh oh, that uh, that looks like it might have been the song of storms, which leaves our last song. Sorry, song, Epona song, Zelda's lullaby, song of storms. So the last song that we've yet to pick up now is what is it? I'll think of it in a second. Just give me a minute here. <laughs> Change Dane and I use Zelda's Lullaby, Pona's Song of Storms, Sun's Song. Well, whenever I think of whatever it is, I'm sure I'm going to be disappointed. I wish I could make this jump, I'm telling you, like, there's a way to do this. Yeah, I don't know, man, that's really tricky. Um, okay. You, Man, why well, I keep stopping in the wrong spot? Well, okay, I guess that counts. <laughs> Ah, uh, I should have known there'd be arrows in there. Um, alright. Don't put out the torch, I'm just trying to hit the pot. Thank you. There we go, 30. 
Having a max of 40 arrows will probably, uh... I know I should use the hook shot here, but I'm too lazy to put it up. And that's okay, because they drop arrows anyway, so. So booyah out of that. Alright. 31. Oh, let's get them, man. Get them all. Even get these ones. And here we have. Oh my god, I was just talking about this, and here we are. Just got a bomb bag. So now we can hold 30 bombs. I mean, that's actually quite a few bombs, if you really think about it. I mean, when do you ever need 30 bombs in this game, anyway? I don't know. Probably just never. Man, I had the biggest brain fart when I was streaming this the other night. I had the water level up. And I couldn't figure out why I couldn't bomb this hole. And I'm like, how do you do this? And then people are like, dude, water level. I'm like, oh my god. How in the world can you be that dumb? Well, I don't know, because I still can't think of what that other song is. I'd love to know the reason behind why I can't think it. There must be a reason why why my mind is just apparently blocking it out. It's like, song, song, sorry song, Epona song. It must be a song that I think I already have or some. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Turn around, bright eyes. Would you get a... Y'all get a room. Get a room, I said! Thank goodness for that double defense, huh? Alright, I'm gonna move the Ocarina, Ocarina, to that switch there. You there, and you... here. There. Alright, let's get this chooch. Oh no, I have no magic. Oh shit. Alright, uh, well, no, but Din's Fire, you don't have magic either. Is there magic in pots anywhere in here? I'm out of magic, dude. Well, I'm out of magic, so I guess I gotta use bombs here. Hopefully that'll work, actually, I'm not sure. What? Are you serious? No, do that again. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not buying it. Surely that can reach the switch. Man, are you serious? But I can't do a spin attack because I don't have magic. I can't do that, that's about it. I mean, I could just use a key and just sequence break this and just come back for that Skulltula later. Why don't we just do that? Because I don't feel like going warping out of the temple to get more magic. There's gotta be somewhere else I can get some. With any luck, maybe we won't, maybe we'll be able to get it before we have to change the water level, I don't know. Uh, I have to get through this here. Yeah, when I dove in the forest temple, I said something like, oh, the camera's at the wrong angle. Why did I say that? The camera was at a perfect angle there. When I went back and watched that, I was like, wow, you don't normally see the camera at such a cool angle. On Link and everything, you know? I was probably thinking something else, or... I don't know. There's no telling with me, boy, I tell you. I tell you. So I'm driving a truck with my boot boots on. My boot boots. That's just too much. Okay, so that crystal in the thing's mouth, is there like a glass casing around? Because it looks kind of like there is. I don't know. Alright, here we go. Buddy. Well, that's another big gore on sword, so whatever. Um, the quickest way to get back to the beginning here is just to save and quit, so I'm going to do that. Alright, well, it looks like we're bringing the water to the second level, whether we like it or not. Because we still have no magic, so whatever, dude. Ooh, man, I wonder if I can like get this Skultula in here. Oh, dude, I, like, I wasn't supposed to grab that one. Anyway, the, um, the skeleton was right up here. We could probably get it. Well, I thought it was up there. Uh, what the heck, dude? Let's grab this spot, then. 
Well, I almost never get this skull to love because by now I usually already have 50. And we all know that the 100 skull to the reward is useless, so. You found a small key for the bottom of the well. I forgot to write that. Uh, you know what? I'm not even writing them down anymore. Because I feel like at this point, it's safe enough to just go to the dungeon and see how many keys you have when you get there. So we have a key for basically every dungeon. The only dungeon we're really lacking keys in is the Forest Temple. So we only have like two for that one. I will never understand why people say that that hole is not obvious. Because to me, like, it's right there. Which is weird for me to be saying that. Me, the person who doesn't notice crap. But I've always noticed that that's there. Like, the camera sits on it for like two seconds after the block floats up. I don't know, man. And to me, the one on the second floor behind the vag hole, that one's harder to remember because there's a chance he might look away from the screen. Of course, I guess you could look away from the screen during this, too. But like you're raising the water for the first time, why would you look away from the screen during that? But if you're floating up, of course, how would you know how far you have to float up? Someone who's already played the temple might look away because they know that it's a long way up, and there's nothing going on, so they would just look away. But, I guess it's all a matter of context, really. Isn't all Nevi so cute when she tries to say hey underwater? Or whale. Oh my god, when that music broke out there and got really loud just now, I thought it was the sound of me getting a raid on Twitch, and I'm like, how can I be getting a raid right now? I'm not even streaming. So, we're basically in the middle, middle of the f Oh yeah, there's this dead end with a key chest here. Which is now... A Skulltula token! Fudge! Alright, so I'm gonna do the same thing I did before and just save and reset here. Your beat's trying to work our way back out of there, right? Oh shoot, I never moved the block in the third floor east room. There is no second floor north room, thank god. Maybe they can add one in the DLC. You know, because I'd love to see that, man. I'd love to see it. Anyway, come and get me, Tektite. I know you're just waiting there to jump on my head. You know, Liam was saying something about the Tektites the other day. Something about how their, their hitbox is like their feet. Or like, something about how when they attack, they use their feet or something. Whatever it was, it was disturbing enough that I remember him saying it, even though I don't remember totally what he was implying. I think he was implying that, like, their feet are how they attack. As in, like, they have poison stingers in their feet. Which is really pretty scary. Big Poe, this Poe won't do shit, but you can still play the song, so here we go. Yeah, screw for Roar's Wind. I don't even have the magic to use it anyway. I'm kind of hoping we pick up the extra, the extended magic pretty soon here. But we might not, just like we might not pick up the boomerang anytime soon. This thing is not over, even though it sure seems like it a little bit. It's not over. I'll tell you that right now, man. Hey, you know, we could just go fight the boss. We have the boss key. And then all the enemies would run away from us. How awesome would that be? I cannot, I, I simply cannot believe that that's not like a thing in more RPGs, that you can just insta-kill enemies and still get experience for it. Although, to be fair, Dragon Quest XI kind of has that. But that's only, like, when you get to a certain level. It's not when you beat a dungeon. But it's the same difference, really, though. Enemies run away from you. I mean, that shit's cool. The idea that you get so powerful that you scare the enemies. Love that, man. Alright, let's not take the boots off just yet, because we have to hookshot out of this. Hiya! Alright, now we take them off. Well, actually, we're gonna... Well, yeah, yeah, because we're gonna be exploring the rest of the third floor, so yeah. Ho, 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 ho. Alright, on to the real meat and potatoes of this temple here. We're gonna start using up some keys real fast here. Uh, let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. Can y'all drop magic? Drop hearts. Alright, Skulltula time. Let's grab it. This to me is like one of the most memorable Skulltulas in the game. Just the way it's way out there in the middle of the room. But you need the long shot to get it. 
so you could see it when you first enter the room, but you know you can't get it. So it's kind of giving you a little bit of a hint as to what the item is going to be. And that shit's cool. Oh, well, you know what else? We have the long shot. We can kind of do this room a little bit out of order. There's so much delay between, like, when you shoot it and when you throw it. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man, how often do you get to do that? Never, basically. Not if you've never played a randomizer, you never get to do that. Oh, yeah, this room. All right, well, um... Do animals ever, like, have... You know, health stuff to worry about? Because you never hear about an animal dying of a heart attack or something, you know? Alright, taking a ride up, baby! Let's do it! Let's not forget there's also... Things up here. Actually, lock off for a second here. Jump up here. Jump up in the air! Jump up to be scared! It's like Mario's not scared, he never has been scared! Seriously? What are you trying to make it sound like Mario actually has a personality or something? Or feelings? I mean, yeah, I'm sure he does, but yeah. Well, I don't know, though. I can't say that, though, because when Flood... You know, at the end of Mario Sunshine, when he lands next to Flood? On the island, you know, and... And he sees what happened, and he kind of just drops his head. He definitely has feelings then, so I can't deny that. Magic! Thank you! More magic, please? Fill me up, Maven. Yes! Thank you! Oh god, now there's this. Better take out the hammer. My reflection is there, and now it's not suddenly, and there must be a reason for that, but what could it be? Well, you turn around and look, and now there's a shadow of you, and now suddenly you have to fight it! Woohoo! Alright, actually lock off for a second here. There it is, now. Oh, that's- no, I had it- oh, I had it all backwards. There we go. I was thinking it was like hammer first and then sword, but no, it's sword first then hammer. The reason I do that is because, like, if you hit him with your sword and then he blocks it, that somehow sets him up so that the hammer works on him every time after that. I'm not really sure why that is, it just is. I don't know if I explained that last time either. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Shit. No, I want to- oh. Sometimes I think that, like, you can press Z one time to turn around and lock on to an enemy. Like, it'll do both at the same time, but then there's other times, like, you press Z and it just turns around first. Yeah, I have a lot of hearts, so this guy's taking a while to... Ugh. Like, I don't know where the arc is for locking on. See, there it locked on and turned around. Other times, it just turns around and doesn't. And... Whoa! Finally decided to start fighting back on your last hit there, didn't you? I don't know, man. Hup. And it was just another room. See, that's one of, like, the biggest gripes I always had, like, with this game. And you can't... It's, it's understandable because of how old the game is, but, like, every boss fight is, like, the same settings. It's just a big room with pots around the edge, you know? And then every mini-boss is, like, a, a room with something in the middle, like the Octorok, or... <gasps> I don't have this all the time. It doesn't matter, but... Well, there are, there are pickups down there, though. That's... That's the song I'm missing! The Song of Time! Dude! Oh my god. Alright, well, um, wow, I wasn't even thinking about that. Is there, like, another way to get in there, though? It's like another case of you can get to it from the other side. I don't think that's possible, actually. Oh my god, well, okay, um, no, 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 that's okay. Okay, so what level is the water at right now? Is there a way to tell? I don't know if there is. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this again. This is like the third time I've done this. So, yes. Right, I think the water's at level one, but I'm not sure. I kinda hope it is because I wanna go back and get that Skulltala now that I have magic. It's at level three. Well, that's okay. Doesn't take that long to move it. Oh, shoot. Oh, hang on. Um. I could have, there was another chest I could have gotten that I didn't realize because I, because I'm so used to not having the long shot at this point. It's the second floor south, but I don't remember what level the water has to be at for you to do that one. I think you can just do it 
with a water level at one or two, because I don't think it matters. But how typical would it be, though, for something really big to be, like, in a place like that, you know? It's easy to forget how cleverly they hid those keys in these temples. Well, there's this one, too. Shit. Okay, so should, uh, I guess I'll raise it to two, then. So I can do them both at the same time. I feel like there's something else. Oh, wait, wait. Ugh, dude. What are you doing? The thing is right over here. Okay, we don't need the hammer there anymore, so... Man, I'm up to 60 Skulltulas now. Oh, I guess we could do first north, too, as well, couldn't we? We could have done that from the beginning, too, although... Wow. I really wasn't thinking about this fourth dimensionally, was I? Well, it's like I said before, though, you're just so used to not having the long shot until... After, you know, until after you've already done the rest of the temple. It's like, that must be so annoying to do. To be underwater and changing your boots. Like, has any human ever had to do that? Besides, like, an undersea explorer or something? It's like, I'm not an undersea explorer. I'm not Ed Harris in the Abyss. I just want to save a girl, you know? Or maybe the world. Or both. Alright, let's try this again. Here we go. I can't believe the spin attack reaches further than a bomb explosion. You just wouldn't think that it would. I'm Ingo, and I don't belong in this text box, but, well... But you killed my father, so prepare to die. There's two chests left, and I need one key to get to each of them. Well, I need the song of time to get to one. I need a key to get to the other. Oh, you know what? I'm out of keys. So I can't do that one anyway. That's the boss key, isn't it? First north? It is. And then I need some time to get to the one in the snake's tail. Then there's that one, which we're about to do, and that one, which we're also about to do, and then there's the boss. Okay, so, um, I don't know if I can make that jump, honestly, so... <laughs> I'm hookshotting down to a target. Thought you only did that in Twilight Princess. All right. You know, every time I say that, like, I guess it's it's like I'm imitating the guys from Kirby's Avalanche because I still remember that. I actually oh, I actually streamed it last night, Kirby's Avalanche, and somehow it's like I got hung up on Lolo and La La La, which is like the sixth stage out of thirteen. I got stuck there. But then, the rest of the game, I beat just fine. Somehow. I guess it just came back to me at some point in there. But man, I'll tell you, It was fun. That game's fun. I went through a stage with that game where I played it a lot, too, as a kid. It was probably like two weeks long, that stage, but still. But yeah, when an enemy gets a combo on you in that game, he goes like, ALRIGHT! And I used to hate, I used to dread hearing that. Because you knew shit was about to happen when that... I need to have the long shot on my other space here. Okay, ready? Oh, really? Ah, hook shot through the wall. <laughs> I love it. Ah, oh, so good. And a little speedrun tactic. You only have to press this block once to get through here. So, just a little thing I remember learning. Well, there's a Deku shield, damn! I do remember mentioning, you know, there's like five or six of those in the game, and we haven't seen a single one yet. Well, there's one right there. Well, here's a hookshot move you don't get to make very often. Zip. Look at that. Makes it so much easier. Oh my god, that- oh my god, that statue! The, the way that Scarecrow looks right now, it's like the exact same angle as that funny time that Chugga Conroy had the statue in Majora's Mask, and he turned the camera in such a way that, like, the statue was right in front of the camera and it looked so funny. Oh man, that reminded me of that just now. Yeah, in one of the other seeds I was here and I didn't have the long shot and I was like, oh, I can get across this. I think you can get across with hover boots, though. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I've kind of heard. Oh, hey, fairy. Oh, yeah. I don't need no fairy. Go on without you, man. Uh Oh, 
Don't try to roll. There we go. Alright, it's boss time. It's dumping time. It's dumping time. Here we go. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh yeah, that's more like it. It's not so bad. Just gotta get her trapped. Get it trapped, get her trapped, I don't know. It's one or the other. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hmm. Yeah, It's like it's just another drop of water out of hundreds in here. Why is it so special? Don't step in that because we need this pickup here. It's a Skulltula! Wow, all that work for nothing. But well, we do get a medallion for this. Or wait, no! We get Zora Sapphire for this. Okay, so we can go get the Song of Time. Vanilla Song of Time, that is. It's not gonna be the Song of Time, but hey. We have to go back to being a kid for that, too. Trade for Claim Check. Yeah. At time of Horn Molt. You know. I love how this canonically happens, like, just as the sun is coming up. Something about it. Kind of cool. Well, let's go shoot the sun. Ready? Boo, 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 boo. Give me my fire arrows, baby, even though I already have them. Oh, it turns into a chest. Wow. Wow, did they... How did they do that? How did they hack that in, I wonder? <laughs> I mean, I guess to the game, it's always a chest, you know, but... But like most of the other stuff, like pieces of heart, still remain pieces of heart. You know, like when it shows up as a prize for bomb tube bowling or whatever. And that's another... Oh my god, that's gonna get so annoying. But what can you do, though, you know? It's like, there's so many of those in the game, you can't avoid them. Alright, well, uh... Let's go get that song, then. And after that, I guess we'll continue dungeon hopping. I'm trying to think of what the best dungeon would be to do next, though. Probably just go ahead and finish off the Fire Temple. I haven't been writing down these keys, though. Maybe Future Self if you're editing. I don't know if you've been writing them down, but... Huh. I, don't, I don't know if there's really any need to. We're so close to the end now. And by so close to the end, I mean close enough that... whatever. Hang on a second, wait a minute. When I said that I couldn't think of what song I was missing, I had five of them. Is this like the biggest dumb beyond moment of my life here? I have the Song of Storms. Well, I just got the Song of Storms in the Water Temple, so yeah. So it's not like I miss getting it, I just... It just threw me off because I couldn't think of what the other song was, but but yeah, I have the Song of Storm, so we can do the bottom of the well. There's lots of shit there. We can also do GTG, but I like bottom of the well because a lot of its pickups are not locked behind doors. There's like three locked doors in there, and each one has like one or two things behind it. Two of them just have a skull to look. And we have keys for it, too, so like... The only problem is you never know like which key goes to the pickup that you want to pick up. Uh, you know what? While I'm here, we should do this. Since I have the Song of Storms. There's the Song of Storms. Oh wait, no, no, because I don't have the boomerang. Never mind. Glad I thought of that when I did. 